Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview. Book of Mark, Chapter 11. Let's get started now. The Book of Mark, Chapter 11, describes one of the most significant events in the life of Jesus Christ, his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. This event marks the beginning of the last week of Jesus' earthly ministry and sets the stage for his ultimate sacrifice on the cross. The chapter is full of important lessons and teachings that are still relevant to us today. In this essay, we will explore the complete story of Mark 11 and its teachings and applications for our daily lives. The story begins with Jesus and his disciples approaching Jerusalem from Bethany and Bethphage. Jesus tells two of his disciples to go ahead and find a colt tied up that no one has ridden on before. When the disciples bring the colt to Jesus, he sits on it and begins to ride into Jerusalem. As he enters the city, people spread their cloaks and palm branches on the ground, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. Mark 11 verses 9 to 10. The people's response to Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem is significant. They recognize him as the long-awaited Messiah, the promised king who would come to establish God's kingdom on earth. By spreading their cloaks and palm branches on the ground, they are acknowledging Jesus as their king and expressing their joy and excitement at his arrival. However, the significance of Jesus' arrival is lost on the religious leaders of the day. When Jesus enters the temple, he sees that it has become a marketplace, with people buying and selling animals for sacrifice. He overturns the tables and drives out the merchants, declaring, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. Mark 11 verse 17 After Jesus leaves the temple, he and his disciples pass by a withered fig tree. Jesus curses the tree, and it withers and dies. This may seem like a strange and arbitrary act, but it has important symbolic significance. The fig tree was a symbol of Israel, and Jesus' curse on the tree represents his judgment on the nation for their failure to bear fruit. It also serves as a warning to us that if we do not bear fruit in our lives, we too will face judgment. The story continues with Jesus' conflict with the religious leaders, who question his authority and try to trap him with difficult questions. Jesus responds with wisdom and clarity, demonstrating his divine authority and exposing the hypocrisy of the religious leaders. The chapter concludes with Jesus teaching his disciples about the importance of faith and forgiveness. He tells them, Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Mark 11 verses 24 to 25. These teachings on faith and forgiveness are vital for our spiritual growth and well-being. We must have faith in God's ability to answer our prayers and trust that He will provide for our needs. At the same time, we must cultivate a spirit of forgiveness and let go of any bitterness or resentment that we may harbor towards others. In verses 22 to 25 of Mark chapter 11, Jesus gives his disciples a lesson on the power of faith and prayer. It says, Have faith in God. Jesus answered, Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. This teaching on faith and prayer is a fundamental one for Christians. It emphasizes the importance of having complete trust and belief in God, and that through prayer, we can receive what we ask for if we have faith. Jesus uses the example of a mountain being thrown into the sea as a metaphor for any seemingly impossible task that we may face in life. He is saying that if we have faith in God and do not doubt in our hearts, we can overcome any obstacle, no matter how big or small. However, it's important to note that this isn't a name it and claim it theology, where we can just ask for anything we want and expect God to give it to us. 
our prayers must align with God's will and purpose for our lives. Additionally, Jesus emphasizes the importance of forgiveness in prayer. He says that if we hold anything against anyone, we must forgive them so that God can forgive us our sins. This teaches us that forgiveness is a crucial part of our faith and our relationship with God. In verse 25, Jesus says, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. This means that when we pray, we must let go of any anger or resentment we may have towards others and forgive them. Only then can we receive God's forgiveness for our own sins. The teaching on forgiveness is a vital one for Christians. We must learn to forgive others, no matter how difficult it may seem. Forgiveness not only benefits the person who has wronged us but also frees us from the burden of anger and resentment. In conclusion, Mark chapter 11 teaches us several valuable lessons. The story of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem reminds us of his kingship and the importance of recognizing him as Lord. The cleansing of the temple teaches us about the importance of reverence and respect for God's house. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.